I have spent a lot of time on this channel talking about the Discover It credit card. And while that remains one of my favorite beginner credit cards to this day, what you may not know is there are a lot of different versions of this card. So today let's make the ultimate comparison of every single version of the Discover It to help you decide which one is the best option for you. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So before we get into each individual card and their unique features, let me remind you that every Discover It credit card has no annual fee, making it a great beginner product no matter what. And they all offer the unique Discover Match, where Discover is going to match any and all rewards that you earn in your first year of having this card. And beyond that, I will also say that Discover is just as widely accepted in the US nowadays as major credit card providers like Visa and MasterCard. So while international acceptance is not quite as good as those major card providers, if most of your transactions are here in the US, then you really shouldn't have any issues with Discover. So first and foremost, we have the classic Discover It cashback credit card, which is probably the card that I've talked about the most here on the channel. With this, you're going to earn 5% cashback on specific spending categories that change each quarter. Now, each of these categories are capped at $1,500 in spending each quarter, which means that the most you could possibly earn for these categories in a year is $300 in cash back, but honestly, that's not that bad for a free credit card. And while the categories do change each year, they usually include things like gas stations, grocery stores, restaurants, PayPal, Amazon, and other major categories where you are probably already spending a lot of money. Plus, beyond that $1,500 spending limit each quarter, you're also going to earn 1% unlimited cash back on all other eligible purchases. Plus, keep in mind that all of that is going to be matched at the end of your first year, meaning you're really getting 10% back on those rolling categories and 2% back on all other purchases in your first year, which is pretty awesome. We'll cover some of the other niche benefits of every Discover It product at the end of the video, but the next card is the Discover It Student Cashback Card. This card is essentially identical to the regular cashback card that we just talked about. The only difference is that it is obviously designed for students, meaning there is no credit score required in order to apply. And this is actually the first credit card that I ever got myself. And after I built up a decent foundational credit score with the student version, not only was I able to then upgrade to the standard Discover It cashback credit card, but I was also able to apply and get approved for some more premium credit cards from other companies. However, if you are not currently a student, but you are brand new to credit or you have damaged credit history, then you can also look at the next option, which is the Discover It Secured Credit Card. If you're not familiar with a secured credit card, essentially the way that this works is you put up a security deposit, which acts as your credit limit. So with a regular credit card, you would go ahead and apply and they would give you a credit limit of let's say $1,000 for example, and you would then be able to spend up to $1,000 on that card. And of course have to pay them back the amount that you spend. But with a secured credit card, you are basically creating your own credit limit. So you would usually give them say a few hundred dollars and that would then become your credit limit or the amount that you're able to spend. And should you ever decide to not pay off the balance in your card, then the credit card company is able to keep your security deposit without them losing out on any money that you spent. So you can see why this is obviously a very popular option for those who have no credit history or damaged credit history. However, it doesn't offer nearly as good benefits as some of the other products and currently only gives you 2% back at gas stations and restaurants on up to $1,000 in purchases each quarter and 1% unlimited cash back on all of your other purchases. So if you are able to qualify for the standard cash back credit card, then I would definitely go ahead and start with that. But if you do get denied, then you are able to go ahead and get this secured credit card, use it for a few months to build up that foundational credit score, and then go ahead and apply for some better cards with better benefits. Similar to the benefits of the secured card, they also offer offer the Discover It Chrome Gas and Restaurants credit card, which offers the same 2% cash back at gas stations and restaurants on up to $1,000 in purchases each quarter and 1% cash back on all other purchases. And again, all of that cash back is going to be matched at the end of your first year. The only difference here is that the Chrome card works like a standard credit card where you do not have to put up 
a security deposit in order to get that credit limit. But again, in my opinion, the regular cashback credit card from the beginning of the video is still the better choice for most consumers, but you will wanna take a deep dive into your spending habits if you do feel like this Chrome card is gonna be the better option for you. In general though, the Chrome card is obviously designed for those that spend a lot of money at gas stations and restaurants. So if that is the case for you, then the Chrome card might be the better option over the standard cashback credit card. They also have a student version of the Chrome card, which you guessed it, is exactly the same as the one we just talked about. The only difference is that again, there's no credit score required in order to apply. And as you've probably noticed by now, Discover really wants to help students learn how to safely and effectively use credit to their advantage before they go out into the real world and end up digging themselves into a huge mess of debt. And that's largely why they have a number of products targeted at that younger demographic. In fact, when I first got my card, they had a good grade reward where I would literally go into the Discover app, input my GPA, and they would instantly give me a $20 statement credit each semester just for having good grades. I'm not sure if that is still a feature that they offer, but if you do have one of these more student focused cards, then that is definitely something that I would look into. We have got two products left on our list today. The first of which is the Discover It Travel Credit Card, which in place of cash back is going to allow you to earn miles on every purchase that you can apply to earn free travel. So this product is fairly basic, but it's going to give you 1.5 miles, which is the same as points, on every dollar that you spend without any limits. From there, you're able to redeem those miles for cash or put them directly towards a statement credit for travel purchases on your card. And you guessed it, with every mile that you earn, they are going to match that at the end of your first year. So if you earned 35,000 miles in your first year, then that would instantly become 70,000 miles, which has a redemption value of about $700. Now this is cool and all, and I love the fact that Discover is expanding into the travel credit card space. However, because you can only redeem it directly for cash or as a statement credit towards travel purchases, that means that there isn't really a way to transfer these points and get a higher redemption value on those miles, like what you can do with cards from Chase and American Express. That's totally understandable considering this card has no annual fee, but if you are looking to get into the travel point space with your credit cards, then personally, this is not the card that I would go with first. And lastly, we have what is probably the most unique credit card offering that I have ever seen, and that would be the Discover It NHL credit card. This one is is clearly more of a publicity stunt for Discover than anything else, and it's basically identical to the regular cashback credit card that we talked about at the beginning of the video. The only difference is that you can get a card design for one of the any 32 NHL teams. So if you are a huge hockey fan, then I guess this is something worth looking into. On that note, one of the other benefits of any of these Discover It credit cards is that they have more card designs than any credit card company that I have ever seen. Currently, they have 159 card designs that are constantly being updated and range anywhere from your favorite hockey team to the standard brushed metal look and even adorable animals and everything in between. Plus, ordering a new card design is completely free and is fairly easy, and in the several years that I have had my I discover a credit card, I've probably ordered like 10 different designs. So this is obviously going to have nothing to do with the benefits that the product offers you. But if you care about what your card looks like, then something to keep in mind. So when all is said and done, these products are all fairly similar to each other. And for a majority of consumers, the standard discover it cashback credit card is by far going to be the best option. Yes, having to activate those rolling categories can be a bit inconvenient, but I promise it is not that challenging and you can do it right from your smartphone and it is going to offer you some great cash back in places where you're already spending a lot of money most likely. Now the last benefit that we have to talk about that applies to any Discover product is the unmatched customer support that Discover has. Currently they offer 24-7 US based customer service that is truly second to none in the financial world and of all of the financial products and brands that I have used and reviewed over the years, Discover 
still remains at the top in terms of customer support. The Discover It app is also fairly easy to use, and while it doesn't have the most sleek and modern design, it's definitely a lot better than some of the older card providers like Wells Fargo and Chase in my opinion, and allows you to do everything that you need to do right from your smartphone, including checking your balance, paying off your card in full of course, and even monitoring your credit score for free. If you do want to check out the Discover It credit card, I will leave a link for that down below the like button, along with a video to a full review that I've made on this product. But I'd also love to know what you think of this product down in the comment section, and which of the many options from Discover is your favorite and why. Be sure to check out some of my favorite financial tools using those links down below the like button, many of which will give you some free cash when you sign up, which we always love. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.